In this video tutorial, we're just going to start with the basics of working with Scratch and make our first animation. So right over here in the left, we have on our stage, we have Scratch, the cat. And Scratch is actually known as a sprite, which you can see down here in the sprite window. And in the middle here, we have our, our uh, script blocks, costumes, sounds. And if we clip scripts, we have our scripting area. So to make an, a sprite move, we have to first select a event. And then we're going to say when the green flag is clicked, we're going to make him move, which is a motion. And you'll see that there's a block that actually says move. We'll take that, snap that in there, and you'll notice that it says it'll move him 10 steps. Now to make our animation go, you click on the green flag. You see that 10 steps is not that many. So if we bump it up to, say, 50, we can then run our animation again and he moves a little bit further. I just also want to show you that the blocks need to be snapped together. If I were to go ahead now and click the green flag, nothing happens. Nothing happens because the blocks are not connected. So once I come back in here, I could see as I move closer, it wants to snap together. I let it go and they're connected. And once again, I have my animation working. At this point, I have to actually drag Scratch back to make him start where he began. But we'll show a little bit later on how to move them back automatically at the beginning of your animation. Now, if we want this to look a little bit more realistic, you'll notice that Scratch, of course, is a sprite. When we click on the little letter I here, we get a little bit of information about him. We actually can see that we can name him, and we can also see that we can allow the, the person to drag him around. So that's some additional information. To close that window, I simply click the arrow key. Now, if I click on Costumes while Scratch, the sprite, is selected, I can see that inside of the sprite, there's actually two costumes. So inside of Scratch, we can see that we can create multiple costumes inside of a sprite. And if you look now, as with all animations, we start to understand that we have to create the look that, we're, that we want to achieve. So that means if we want to make Scratch look like he's walking, we have to make a, scri a sprite that makes one leg in one position here. And then if you click on the other sprite, you can see this, the legs are slightly changed. Now, to make this appear in our animation, we go back to our script. And to change the look, we're going to actually manipulate the costume. So we go to looks. And now we start to see that we have other colored blocks here. And in here, there's a lot of different ways you can achieve different looks within your animation. But you'll notice that to change the costumes, you can either switch to a particular costume by its name or just say whatever the next costume is. So for Scratch, there was only two costumes and we could always say what's the next one. I'm going to go ahead and put that as part of my sequence. I snap it in and now let's run it. Well, something happened, but it wasn't quite the effect that I thought. So it moved 50 steps and then changed to the next costume. It did exactly what I told it to do in the snapping of the blocks. However, I needed to make it look like every time he moves a step or two or 10, change the next costume. So I will do that. There's a couple different ways you can do it, but I'm gonna click on Control. And you'll notice that there's these C-shaped blocks, these clamps they look like. And the one here that I'm going to use is something that looks like this. It says repeat 10. So it means it's going to repeat 10 times whatever is in here. I snap that in. I'll take my move and I'll put that in there. Let's see what that looks like. I'll move him back a little bit too. Oh, he moves right across the screen very quickly. Let's lower this down to say 30 and try it again. Okay, now he's on the screen. But notice that his costume wasn't changing. If I pull this and I now snap that in there, these two blocks are going to occur within this repeat. This repeat is also known in coding circles as a loop. So it's going to repeat 10 times whatever is happening in here. There he goes. Now you can start to see that his legs are moving quickly. But he's moving very quickly, maybe almost too quick. So if we go back to motion, we can see that we have other ways to control how to move them, glide them, and so on. I want to cause a, create a little bit of a pause. Well, I don't see it here. I could go over here to looks. Hmm. Let's see. I don't see it in here. 
And that's what's really great about this tool. You can actually go through these trying to understand which would be the best thing. Now, here we start to see some control. And there's, a, there's one here that says wait one second. Let's see if we could take the wait and put it in here. We'll drag scratch back. Now we could start to see it a little bit slower, but that's almost too slow. So we're going to stop it. We'll drag them back. And let's go ahead and do, instead of this, we'll do 0.5 seconds. What does that effect look like? A little bit better. A little bit better. Let's even make it quicker. Let's make it 0.05 seconds. So we're, we're making the time shorter and shorter and shorter. All right. So with this simple tutorial, you start to learn that using the blocks that I've assembled here, you can make Scratch move across the screen by changing the costumes.